Listeria is a bacteria that cause infection known as listeriosis. Yes, it is serious, as it became third leading cause of death in United States. Okay, my question is, where does this listeria come from? Listeria is a harmful germ that can be in contaminated food. Listeria can also cause an intestinal illness that is usually mild. When listeria bacteria spread beyond the intestines, we call the infection invasive. Invasive illness in pregnant people is usually mild. However, invasive illness during pregnancy usually leads to miscarriage, stillbirth, premature delivery, or life-threatening infection of the newborn. Infection during pregnancy results in fetal loss in about 20% of cases and newborn death in about 3% of cases. Other people with invasive illness, most commonly adults 65 years and older and people with weakened immune systems, usually have infection of the bloodstream, sepsis, or brain, meningitis or encephalitis. Listeria can sometimes infect other parts of the body. Among invasive illnesses not associated with pregnancy, most people need to be hospitalized, about 87% of cases, and about 1 in 6 people die. Common symptoms may include fever, muscle aches, nausea, diarrhea, headache, stiff neck, confusion or changes in mental status, loss of balance, convulsions, flu-like symptoms. It's important to note that symptoms may appear anywhere from a few days to several weeks after consuming contaminated food. In pregnant women, symptoms may be mild, but the infection can lead to serious complications for the fetus or newborn. Individuals with weakened immune systems, such as the elderly or those with underlying health conditions, may experience more severe symptoms or complications. If you suspect you may have listeria infection, it's crucial to seek medical attention promptly. Okay, tell me. How is infection diagnosed and treated? Infection is usually diagnosed when a laboratory test detects listeria in body tissue or fluid, such as blood, spinal fluid, or the placenta. Treatment depends on the kind and severity of a person's illness. Most listeria infections are treated with antibiotics. People with diarrhea should drink plenty of fluids. What should I do if I ate a food that may have been contaminated with listeria? Contact a healthcare provider if both of the following things apply to you. 1. You ate food that has been recalled for outbreak. 2. You have a fever and other symptoms of listeriosis, such as fatigue and muscle aches. Let the healthcare provider know if you ate possibly contaminated food. This is especially important if you are pregnant, aged 65 or older, or have a weakened immune system. If you ate food possibly contaminated with listeria and do not feel sick, most experts believe you do not need tests or treatment. Talk with a healthcare provider if you have questions about what to do. Here are some key prevention tips to help reduce the risk of listeria infection. Proper food handling. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water before and after handling food. Ensure that all utensils, cutting boards, and surfaces are cleaned and sanitized regularly, especially after handling raw meats, poultry, or seafood. Cook food thoroughly. Cook all meats, poultry, and seafood to their recommended internal temperatures to kill any harmful bacteria, including listeria. Use a food thermometer to ensure the food reaches the appropriate temperature. Avoid raw or unpasteurized products. Avoid consuming raw or unpasteurized dairy products, such as raw milk and cheeses made from unpasteurized milk. Choose pasteurized products to reduce the risk of listeria contamination. Handle ready-to-eat foods safely. Be cautious when handling ready-to-eat foods, such as deli meats, hot dogs, and pre-packaged salads. Store these foods properly, follow expiration dates, and consume them promptly after opening. Clean produce thoroughly. Wash fruits and vegetables under running water before consuming them even if you plan to peel them. Use a produce brush to scrub firm produce like melons or cucumbers. Keep refrigerators clean. Clean your refrigerator regularly and set the temperature below 40 degrees Fahrenheit 4 degrees Celsius to slow the growth of listeria and other harmful bacteria. Promptly refrigerate or freeze perishable foods to prevent bacterial growth. Practice safe food storage. Store raw meats, poultry, and seafood separately from ready-to-eat foods to prevent cross-contamination. Use sealed containers or bags to store leftovers and prevent bacteria from spreading. 
Be mindful of high-risk foods. Be cautious when consuming high-risk foods, especially if you are pregnant, elderly, or have a weakened immune system. Consider avoiding certain foods altogether or heating them thoroughly before consumption. Follow food safety guidelines. Follow food safety guidelines provided by health authorities, such as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, and the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, to reduce the risk of foodborne illnesses, including listeria infection. By following these preventive measures, you can help minimize the risk of listeria contamination and protect yourself and your family from listeria infection. In summary, listeria infection is a serious concern, but by practicing good food safety habits and seeking timely medical care, we can reduce the risk and impact of this illness. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more health tips. Stay safe and be vigilant about food safety. See you next time.